everybody. Uh, welcome back to McMaster Makers. Um, definitely excited to be back again. Uh, episode now three has already came out now uh, with Vim from McMaster Diza. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's definitely had a lot, lot to say. And I knowing Vim, you know, he's always got a lot in his mind. So I always love to hear what he has to say. And now we're on our fourth, fourth episode now. Even I'm losing count. But um, I also have now two two new guests. Uh, both luckily are now are now the co presidents of uh, Delta Hacks, and I'm very excited to have both Kajobin and uh, Rahil with me today. Uh, guys, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? Um, for sure, I guess I can go first. Um, first of all, thank you for having us. Uh, it's uh, really appreciated. Hi everyone, my name is Rahil. I'm in my third year of computer science. Um, people know me as uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs' biggest fan. Um, <laughs> if, if anything, um, I love Mexican food. Um, but yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, awesome. And yeah, thank you, Ryan, for like hosting Deltax. Um, we're really excited to be here. Um, yeah, my name is Kajobin. I'm one of the co-directors of Deltax this year. Um, I'm in my fifth year of software engineering and management. So this is my last semester. I'm about to graduate. It's really exciting um, and confusing at times, but yeah, it's really exciting. And a uh, uh, fun fact about me, uh, I don't know. I, I don't have anything. Well, okay. I, I think I'm a big fan of Toronto Raptors if we're talking about sports. But, <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's my introduction. Well, I mean, well, I'm great. I'm glad to have both of you guys on here. And one thing I can vouch for is that I'm both a fan of the Leafs and the Raptors. Let's so go. hopefully the Raptors start winning sometime soon. So yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> but um, I guess the next thing I, I guess I wanted to introduce you guys or ask about is um, talk about your uh, experiences. Like I just want to know, like uh, how you, before you guys got to Del into Delta Hacks, uh, what you guys do to get get to this point? So like jobs, internships, clubs. What well, talk about your experiences? So what what our followers want to hear? Mm -hmm. um, so. On the side, I've always done freelance work. Um, uh, I love product design, designing stuff. So I do a lot of uh, freelance work with different companies and different uh, professionals. Um, in my first year, I did a web design co-op where I got to um, analyze different websites and actually design a lot of different web pages and stuff. So that was really cool. Um, and then my second year summer last year, I got a pretty cool opportunity to work with professors and doctors in developing an application that to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. And we got to present that to the provincial and federal government of Canada, which was a pretty cool experience. Um, so um, all of that alongside with Delta Hacks and every other experience has uh, built up to this moment. So um, yeah, overall it's been, it's been really fun so far and I can't wait to see what's in store. For sure. Um, so I think the, so for me, uh, my, I guess, journey. Uh, so when I got to Mac, um, I actually wanted to do mechanical engineering. Uh, I did programming in high school, but I like never considered it as a career, like software engineering. Um, but luckily first year, I got to meet a lot of upper years and professors and got to learn more about like software engineering as a field. Uh, it really interested me. Um, I was also really interested in the management side of engineering, like engineering management. Um, which is, and I thought it was really cool that McMaster had like a special program with engineering and management, I guess, stream to go into. Uh, so I applied to software and management, luckily got in. Uh, and after that, um, you know, software is really broad. So I was trying to find like what like side of software I want to dive into. Um, I went to a bunch of hackathons um, in my second year. And that's where I found out about web development and uh, really, really liked it. So that's where I aimed, aimed for for my first co-op. So after second year, I did my first co-op. It was um, at the university, uh, helping a professor build a web app. So that was really awesome. My first exposure to building things. Um, and I think it was around that time too when I actually joined Delta Hacks after my second year. Uh, after that, did another co-op. Um, this one was actually in America. It was a really cool experience at this uh, web development firm called Willow Tree. Uh, again, building like web stuff. It was really awesome. and. Uh, Yep, and then after that, I did my final co-op, which was again at a lab um, at McMaster. They're doing like microbiology stuff. And again, I was building another web app uh, to help the data, like data analytics on that side. So uh, a lot of web stuff, that's kind of my bread and butter thing. 
And uh, yeah, that's just kind of been everything that's led up, um, I guess, to this moment as far as like my career and stuff goes. No, that's great. And I, I, I really like with both you guys, um, CompSci, CompSci and both software and I think both of them have also very similar elements where, you know, coding is the, is the main thing. And it, you're right, Kajoban, I think it's, it's broad, but that's what makes it really good. And, you know, like you can really jump into diff- so many different applications of it. And your uh, your pathway is just one example, and same for Rahil as well. You guys have both really helped uh, helped a lot of people also with coding, and I'm really glad to see that. And I guess that kind of leads to my next question: is uh, Delta Hacks? How did you guys both get into it? Uh, and just talk about the uh, club itself. Tell us, tell the, our followers, like what what is it about? Mm-hmm. So for me, I. I applied to be a part of Delta Hacks one month into university in October. Um, I wasn't expecting to get even an interview, but fortunately I got an interview and I got on the team. So in my first year, I spent uh, my time as part of the design team. And then in my second year, I spent, uh, I was fortunate enough to be the VP of design. And then in, in my third year, I was fortunate enough to be elected as the co-director alongside the great Kajovan. So, so far it's been a great experience and I can't wait um, to, for our event to happen in March. But yeah, overall, like I've done Delta Hacks because it's, it's something um, that I love. Um, I love joining teams, meeting new people. Um, and Delta Hacks has always gone by like being the hackathon for change, hackathon for change. Um, and I'm all about making positive all about positivity and making change so um it resonates with me and it's it's um something that i want to want to share with uh other people as well so um thank you delta hacks for that and uh yeah that's awesome yeah so for me i think um so like i said i joined delta hacks in second year um i was actually introduced to delta hacks by a friend that i well i knew from class but we actually got closer through going to like hackathons and we actually worked at a hackathon right before um, that year's Delta Hacks applications opened. Um, and he'd been on the team for a while. So he told me um, it's a really great team. It's like a family, uh, we should definitely check it out. Um, up until that point, I'd been on like a couple other clubs at university but hadn't really delved that deep into any of them. Uh, but like I said, like hackathons for me have really helped me in finding my footing in software engineering. And I think it's really important to give back. So I was like really excited like to have the opportunity. So um, I applied, uh, thankfully my application got chosen, I had an interview and I joined the attendee relations team, which is like the team that uh, interfaces with attendees, make sure that they're having good time, uh, builds the application and uh, like marks the application for like allowing people into the hackathon. Uh, so I was on as an exec for a year and then um, I really loved it. Like I loved that, like my friend was right. It was like a family, I loved the atmosphere. So I applied to become the team lead or the VP of attendee relations. And luckily I was selected. Uh, So I was the VP for a year. And uh, I really loved that as well. And with that, like getting to work with other, like the other teams a lot more closely as a VP was really awesome. And uh, after that, I was like, you know, um, I really like this. I would love to try out to be the co-director. So I ran and like, again, luckily was elected and get to stand next to Rahul this year. So it's been really awesome so far. And um, what Rahul said is right, like, um, like Delta Hacks, we care a lot about using technology for like social good and for change. A lot of the streams that we have, like challenger streams are in like health or technology or education and just using technology for those things. Um, so that, like, that's a big thing about Delta Hacks. And also just as a club on campus, um, the whole aspect of like, just kind of being like a big family and everybody's helping everybody. And as an exec, you get to do a lot of impactful work and get to talk to people from other teams it's not like you're in your own little bubble. Um, I met people, like some of my closest friends are from other teams. Like it's not just the team that I was on. So um, yeah, it's been really awesome for these three years. And I'm really sad to be leaving campus, but if Delta X ever wants me back in some way or form, I'd love to come back even after I've graduated. Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I, I think Delta Hacks would love to have both you guys back for another year. But I, I, I think for Delta Hacks, and I, I can speak for that as well as, I know in before, I think in third year, I was also part of Delta Hacks. Um, I was part of one of their committees. And I, I really, I definitely agree where it's like, it definitely does feel like family. Like everyone's all working together. Everyone's all interconnected. It's not just like one team does one thing, another team does something separate. 
and it's it's for good it's for good cause everyone gets involved you get profs to come over different other students from other universities it's a great time and i think everyone especially our followers definitely check out the the event uh that's going to be happening in march right to joven but yep. the first weekend of march this year first weekend of march okay well yeah guys you definitely should check it out and check out the hacks for on instagram for their updates on that and i guess my last question for you guys is um speaking about mcmaster makers as a comp as a comp sci major in rahil and as a software major for you kajovin how do you see our workshops as a benefit to you guys in for your careers and for even looking forward to your future mm -hmm. um i've always said like to myself and to anyone that has ever asked me for like advice like um you all it's always best to have a growth mindset learning mindset you're going to learn new things everywhere you go every single day and and do what you love and and i really believe like when you're able to do um things and learn about things that you love like you don't, you can't you don't know where time flies and Keijo and I like we're uh, like we're fortunate to be in these streams where there's so many so many different kinds of opportunities and and um clubs like Mac makers who organize uh, these kind of workshops where people can can go and learn about these things I think it's really cool um and um Brian told us about a couple of workshops like the git um workshop the the personal website, open CV workshop. There's there's lots of different things that are um, really applicable in the industry. And being in my 30s, I've, I've experienced a lot of stuff and I'm sure Keijo has too and, talk, and can talk to this, but um, there's just so much that you can learn from these workshops. And I, I would highly encourage anyone to, um, in the software development field to um, attend these and, and I'm sure they'll be really helpful in your career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like Rahul, you made a good point about the growth mindset thing, like specifically in tech, um, things are always changing, like technology that is used in the industry or was used in the industry when like I got into university in 2016, um, or sorry, technology that they use in the industry today um, probably wasn't popular in 2016. Like things change so quickly and you have to continue learning. So it's really awesome to have clubs like Math Makers on campus, um, you know, preparing the workshops for you. Uh, it's good to self-learn, like self-learning is really awesome, but it's like really helpful to have people um, there to help you and lend a hand and like have a very structured learning plan for you um, for these things. And like Mac Makers is also like having workshops at, on very um, applicable um, technologies. Like we talked about the Git workshop. Um, I think learn, knowing Git um, is a huge asset for any like first or second year trying to get their first co-op because any like major software project um, even minor are using like GitHub or sorry are using Git um, like to track like to manage the project. So I think it's like really important. Um, like specifically when I like at all my co-ops I used Git. Um, when I went to Willow Tree, like my knowledge of Git, like my manager was really excited that I actually knew what Git was and he didn't need to teach me from scratch. So um, definitely like a workshop like that is really important. Um, like the web portfolio workshop, I think like. It's really like it's just like useful like um, I think a lot of people in tech like want to make a website want to have their own kind of footprint on the web and uh, knowing how to do that I think is really important so and even the last one with open CV like um, that's like a really hot technology and like to learn it I think it's really like a huge asset to like any student so I would say any of these workshops um, attending them is like a huge huge asset especially if you're trying to get your first co-op as a first or second year. Right. Well, no, that's not, I, I like all the points you guys made. And I, I, I really do believe that if anyone out here, especially in, in Kajoban and Rahil's uh, majors like CompSci and Software Engine, you can definitely see the benefits in where, especially in web portfolio and, op and um, open to Git, the GitHub workshop, like it's all intro. You don't have to really, it's not that very complicated because you, you it's all, everyone's going to be new when they do them. And I, I feel like some students they you know they might not want to they might not think they need it right but this is something you can add to your resume and put and put and it's really it's really a great experience you know and it's just a glimpse of what you can possibly do in other companies too and it in it's a great touch into a glimpse of what you will possibly do in the future especially in those majors 
anyways, um, Kajobin, Rahil, I really appreciate you coming out to my interview. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming here. You guys had a great, a lot of great, a lot of great things to say. And um, hopefully in the near future, we, we end up collaborating again. And I'd definitely be excited to see what we have, you know, for the next uh, couple of months. For sure. Thank you so much for having us. Awesome. Thank you, Ryan. And definitely like to all the viewers, make sure you attend Mac Makers Workshops because they will definitely come clutch for our hackathon, which is happening first week of March on um, yes, March 5th to 7th, 2021. So make sure you prepare by going to these workshops. But yeah, thank you, Ryan. No worries. And yes, definitely everyone check out uh, Delta Hacks as they have their event coming out in March. And that's all. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.